Uh, I have been graduated in agriculture from Bangladesh Agricultural University and I have completed Master of Science at the University of Sydney. I have uh, done my bachelor course and master course uh, in Russia at the Bashkir State University so a few years ago and uh, then I migrated moved to Australia with my family and yeah we have chosen Perth and I have started to look uh, my research new research opportunities over here and um, after thinking I have chosen UWA because this is the most prestigious university in Western Australia and also in Australia and all around the world. Uh, there are several things uh, that made me choose the University of Western Australia over the other universities uh, like its international reputations and the state-of-the-art research facilities across the campus and its outstanding research collaborative network with the other world pioneering research institutes across the world. Uh, for example, my lab has a strong research collaborations with the Nobel Foundation in the USA and the Max Planck Institute in Germany. My research area is molecular biology and molecular physiology of plants. I am going to test a few, few hypotheses. Australian soils, especially in Western Australia, are quite impoverished with nutrients, with phosphorus. And as we know, phosphorus is vital for plants and for all living organisms. Also, phosphorus is important for mitochondrial respiration and photosynthesis. So these processes are vital for plants. And it would be interesting to know how phosphorus status of plant connected to expression of genes uh, linked to mitochondrial and photosynthetic function. Because uh, yields of crops based on photosynthetic rate in the future, solving this problem can contribute to solving another big problem problem of starvation in the world in poor countries so probably the knowledge uh, that we will gain that I will gain during my research work during my PhD studies will contribute to developing efficient plants that will not need uh, many phosphorus but they will give good yield so that's how I see my research project <laughs> My research area is uh, molecular biology. I'm working with a plant native to Australia. I'm determining targeted metabolite and transcript profiling in this plant across different nutritional conditions to understand how this plant can manage its life with a minimum supply of phosphate. Facilities at UWA are just awesome. Uh, people can do the highest level research here and they have a lot of opportunities. It's everything organized pretty well, uh, beautiful equipment, beautiful glass houses. So you can achieve any goals here. Well, in terms of the research facilities, I have all those uh, research uh, facilities I require in my project, starting from the glass house facilities, field experiments, uh, to the modern molecular techniques. So here in our lab, we have a high throughput, sophisticated instruments. So we can contact the experiment in the glass house, take them to our molecular lab, and we can do the molecular uh, investigations here. So we have the all facilities required, required in this project. I always set big goals for myself. So it's easier to achieve if you see the big aim in front of you. I'm going to the Max Planck Institute next week. Uh, it's the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology uh, in Golm, Germany. I would be doing some of the research work on the experiment I'm conducting here at EWA to do the targeted metabolite profiling. 
to better understand its phosphorus use efficiency. So I will be visiting that institute for three months. I was thinking to look for postdoc opportunities at UWA because I love this university and I would like to stay here and work here. So it doesn't matter what kind of job it will be as long as it deals with uh, research, with uh, discovering new things. So I will be happy. I'm so much interested in the work I'm doing now. I would like to pursue my career in this field after my PhD.